Hi, I'm Janae Claiborne from Sweet Potato Soul. And we are gonna be making some creamy, tangy, absolutely delicious sweet potato noodles. I love this dish because it is full of flavor, it's very filling, it's a lot of fun to make and to eat. So we're gonna be using the sweet potato noodles. We've got a nice assortment of vegetables, broccoli, red cabbage, red bell pepper, so this is a very colorful and beautiful dish as well. We're also gonna be using some tofu, which I have pressed. And as far as tools, I get to show off my beautiful Le Creuset products. We're gonna be using the Le Creuset saucepan. I cannot stop using this thing. This is like, this is my favorite pot right now. And we're gonna be using the Le Creuset braiser. Perfect for all those vegetables and bringing all those noodles together. And these happen to be the most beautiful color ever. First, we should definitely finish up with these noodles. Um, spiralizing, it's kind of like a workout, you know? So I've done one sweet potato and one sweet potato made a good amount of noodles, to be honest, but we have another one. If you don't have a spiralizer at all, then maybe just use regular noodles like wheat noodles, rice noodles. Ooh, it's a workout. I'm literally sweating. The AC's on blast, but don't feel like it right now. Cause this workout, my arms, yeah. But it's worth it. I promise it's worth it for the noodles. I swear it is. <laughs> okay, these are sweet potato noodles. I'm just gonna set them aside for now. I just wanna show you our tofu that we're working with. Now this tofu has been pressed meaning I just you know drain the liquid and then I wrap it in a clean kitchen towel or cotton napkin, put it in a bowl, wide bowl or plate, and put something super, super heavy on top. For example, put this bad boy on top. And then it'll press the liquid out. Any excess liquid will be pressed out and your tofu can better absorb the flavors that you're cooking with. So let's put this bad boy back. So while the tofu is out, let me go ahead and just cube it up. Those are our tofu cubes, nice and sliced. Now we can do our vegetables. So I'm gonna be using half of a yellow onion for this. And so I actually have a little plate here. I put all my chopped goodies, my onions and such, on a plate so that when I get to the stove, I can just dump them. So now we're doing red bell pepper, some thin slices. Okay, so now we're just gonna chop some jalapeno pepper. I removed the seeds from mine. And if it's not too spicy, the end dish, then I'm gonna give it to my daughter, I think, just like straight up. She likes a little spice though, so she's like her mommy. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. All right, in the bowl with the, those guys. For the last vegetables, we just have some uh, broccoli and some red cabbage. This is a little red cabbage that I've been eating off of. This is a nice dish and a, and a good way to use up your red cabbage. So shred it up or chop it up like I'm doing now and add it to a noodle dish. Like even if you're looking at a recipe and doesn't call for red cabbage, red cabbage always is a nice addition. Just a little color, just a little pop of color and nice crunchy texture, you know? You know what I mean? And we're gonna do some broccoli because broccoli, like for me, I like broccoli in every noodle dish. I don't care what kind of noodles they are, I want broccoli. It's not, it's not complete for me if I don't have broccoli. So we're gonna do lots of broccoli. So now we're gonna go over to our stove. We're gonna make our sauce first and then we are gonna be making just the, the noodles, the rest of the dish. So now, over at our stove. We're gonna make the sauce first because once the sauce gets going and it's doing its thing, we can work on the vegetables and they'll be they'll be finished at the same time. So it's nice to time the food correctly. I'm just gonna add a little bit of avocado oil. So here for the sauce ingredients, we have the oil, we have garlic, ginger, maple syrup, some water, and a lot of almond butter. This saucepan has been my favorite, favorite dish. I make my daughter's oatmeal in it every morning now. I just love it. And I like the color too. So I'm doing the juice of 
two limes for this. So I almost forgot the soy sauce. Phew, cannot do that. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of soy sauce. And now you just wanna stir that up. The almond butter will start to break up and it will all emulsify once it comes to a simmer. And then eventually it's even gonna start thickening. And it's gonna be just the perfect sauce for our noodles. All right, and that's just gonna continue to simmer on low heat while we do our vegetables here. So, once again, we're gonna add some avocado oil to the pan. And we're gonna start by sauteing our onions, our red bell pepper, and that jalapeno pepper. One little tip I learned for you knowing when your oil is hot enough in a pan, especially these really heavy bottom pans, that heat evenly, just drop a piece of the onion or garlic, whatever you're cooking, into the oil before it's hot enough. And once that starts to sizzle and to saute, you'll know to add the rest. At this point, we're also going to add our vegetables. And you can also add, you can also add your tofu at this point. And you'll see your tofu will start to get some nice color on it. Color equals flavor, all right? So get that tofu nice and brown. And then we'll put the lid on. And of course, putting the lid on is just gonna help it to cook more quickly, cook down, because um, I'm hungry. Yeah, so let's speed this thing up. Now our vegetables should be nice and tender. It's been 15 minutes. You don't want to overcook them really just because you still have to cook your sweet potatoes. And they don't take long to cook at all. You really don't want to overcook these. You're really going to watch it. So let's just add in our sweet potato. Pour over our nice, beautiful sauce. It's perfection. Okay, so let's just give that a stir. You can turn the heat up. I had it turned all the way down because they were in here. but. Try to stir it up as much as possible so that everything is coated. And then we're gonna give it, it usually takes about five minutes for the noodles to cook. Yeah, that's looking good. So let's give it a little time to do its thing and to soften. At this point, if you want, cover it again. I'm gonna leave my lid ajar. So like I said, it only needs like five minutes for these sweet potato noodles to soften. Very important that you don't overcook them because you won't have noodles anymore. Instead, you'll have something like sweet potato mash <laughs> and they'll lose their texture. So make sure you don't overcook them. They're looking beautiful and you wanna serve it right away, nice and hot so that, again, it maintains that nice texture. And it looks so pretty right now. This dish, you could just like, take photos of it in this brazier like this. It looks so nice. Put one here. Ooh, nice and long. Mm. So much flavor. Okay, now we're gonna put a little black pepper on top. You know, matchy, matchy, matchy. I have the Le Creuset pepper grinder as well. Same color, because yeah. I mean, clearly this is like my favorite color right now. And let's go put some cilantro on top. Lovely, it looks really good. I'm just gonna finish it off with some, so these are black sesame seeds. Black and white, nice pairing. A little bit of black sesame seeds, a little bit of white. And just a little bit of lime juice. And now we can eat. Yes! Wonderful. Love it. These sweet potato noodles are the perfect texture. They have such a nice balance of flavor, a little bit of sweetness, the nuttiness, the creaminess, and of course that tanginess. This is like a dish that I would not want to live without. So make sure you guys try it. I'm sure you'll love it as much as I do. And let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.